name of the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. We're almost uh, very near, very close to the, the great event. We're very, I'm sure most of us very ready to receive the Lord. But, uh, and some of us are still struggling. Some of us are still sleeping, moving around. They miss the message of salvation. But the door is still, still open and, uh, and the chance is still there that all of us to be uh, ready for such a day. The one who came early in the morning today, the Psalms of this morning, I like to read it so we can it can be an introduction for our, our talk today. The psalm of, uh, of in morning today, it says, Let the heaven rejoice, and let the earth be glad. And we are part, right? We are part from the creation of God. And let the sea roar, and all its fullness, then all the trees of the wood will rejoice. Imagine the wood, the trees, the rivers will rejoice. All things like that will rejoice before the Lord. For he is coming. For he is coming. To do what? He is coming to do what? To judge. To judge. He's coming to judge the earth, and he shall judge. He's coming to judge the earth, and he shall judge the world with righteousness, and all the people with his truth. He will judge everyone according to his, to his what? Truth. And today the message, I was trying to get message from myself and to share with you today. And I looked at the prophecies in the Old Testament. What the prophecies mentioned or said about John Baptist. And I wrote some thoughts here I'd like to share with you today. As today we're celebrating the birth of John, the forerunner, as we said in the church, he came to prepare the heart and the mind, prepare everyone to receive the Messiah, to receive the Lord. And as today, 2018 also, we are busy praying, praising God, doing our, our work in a godly way to receive the Lord. That's why Isaiah, the prophet, this is one of the more, most important uh, prophecy about John, Isaiah 40. Verse 3. He said, Voice crying in the wilderness. Do what? What we should do? If a voice crying in the wilderness, prepare the way for him, he's coming. Let's make it easy. He's coming. This is the prophecy of Isaiah about June. And Zechariah today. He's dead. He said he's coming to prepare a way and prepare people for the Lord. This is the second. Malachi. I was looking at chapter 4, verse 5. Malachi said, I will send you Elijah. I will send you Elijah, the prophet. 
before the coming of the Lord. And John Baptist came with the spirit of Elijah. Correct? He came with a fire. Like something, boom, a, a, a stone. Yesterday I was sharing with the people. I say the word of God like train, running. You can't stand in front of it. You can't resist it. Today, John came with the same message. We are waiting for the birth of Christ. Correct? We are waiting for him to come, to remain, to stay, to dwell, to rest. All this the same meaning. To stay in our life. And also, we are waiting for the message like today. But unfortunately, there is many people slumber, slept, like the five foolish virgins, sleeping. Christ is coming. I was telling them yesterday, it's like any day. Christ will come like any day. People running up and down, buying grocery, uh, watching uh, TV, uh, checking the internet, mama in the kitchen uh, cooking, children are playing, and the Lord will come. What happened? Today is the day of the Lord. Are we aware about that? Are we aware? Someone take his lunch and he go to sleep, wake him up, finished. Wake up, we are traveling, finished. His time came. Message of John is like that. Don't take it easy. Don't take it just like any message in the newspaper. No. Message of repentance. We should be ready. Malachi say he will come with the spirit of Elijah. Elijah came and he said very powerful message. What he said to the people. If God is the Lord, do what? Huh? Worship him. If Baal is your God, do what? Tell when you limp, right? Limp, limping between the life and the death. This is the message. This is the voice of John. This is the voice of John for us today. If God is God, do what? Honor him. Respect him. Deal with him in an honorable way. Honor him in your home. Respect him in your life, in your thoughts, in your feelings. We think God never see these small things. No. God listen and God record in the book of life every movement we do. Correct or no? Is that right? Why you are taking that matter easy? So today, John came with this message. He's telling everyone is sleeping. Please, my friend, wake up. Wake up. Christ is coming. When he come, he will judge according to the psalm of today. He will judge everyone. We should be wise. We should be wise. We are doing a lot of activity, a lot of movement, but we are forgetting our salvation. Correct? We need to be careful about that. It is danger. The Lord is coming. But the people are, everyone in his own business, everyone in his own life. But the time is coming. The time is coming in 7 January. We don't know who will be here and who will travel. Right? Maybe some, some of us today will travel to heaven to celebrate Christmas up. Is anyone ready for that? Is anyone ready for this event? to celebrate it up. 
not with your family here? Could be, right? It could happen. Yes? Yes, it can. Anytime. We need this voice. We need someone to deliver us from our darkness to the light. We need someone to wake us up. We need someone to shake our life, to shake our whatever we stand in, to let us know that nothing here is remaining. Nothing here is secure. Nothing. I am in good health now. Tomorrow you can find me in the ICU. Right? Same day. Nothing is secure. So let us be wise and let us don't neglect the voice of salvation for us, the voice of repentance for us. We have more, more powerful voice than the voice of John. Right or wrong? What voice we have? Huh? All of us, we love God in, in the theory way, not practical. All of us will say, Holy Spirit. How many of us respect the Holy Spirit as God? Holy Spirit more powerful than John or not? Yes? I want to hear it, please. Yes or no? Because the word yes will condemn me and you. It will put me on the line. We have more powerful voice than the John of Baptist. Every day God said, I will leave him with you. To do what? To guide you? Yes. To correct you? Correct. To wake you up? Correct. To convict you? Right. To encourage you? Right. To advocate for you? 100%. This is the message. This is the most important message for us. Holy Spirit, every day in us, we receive him in us. What are we doing with that voice? That's why every said, today I think today the gospel, if we, I, I don't know if today or when, the gospel said, if we resist, every sin will be forgiven. Right? But only one sin will not be forgiven if you reject the voice of the Holy Spirit in your life to repent. So today John came and he said, till when you lamp in your life? Some of us here, we have bad relationship. Some here in the church, he knows and God knows, or, he, or she knows and God knows, until when we remain in this darkness. Until when I come Sunday, I take Holy Communion, and I'm remaining in the same filthy life. Till when my eyes look at the Word of God and look at whatever dirty stuff. Till when? John is waking everyone today. And wake me first before you. Let us hear the voice of the Holy Spirit. The voice of John was the voice of repentance. The voice of the Holy Spirit, also a voice of repentance. Prepare your heart. The Lord is coming. John said, this is the Lamb of God who will do what? The Lamb of God will do what? Will carry, will remove the sin of the world, right? Right? So John is telling me and you, go to him. Do you have any burden? Do you have any burden? Do you have any sin? Do you have any weakness? This is the Lamb of God. Go to him. Pour your sin. Give him your weakness. What he will do? He will take it. That's why the church make a bosom. We go to him. He will hug you and say, I know, come. Come. Come with your burden. Come with your problems. I, I am here for that. Please don't run away from that. Don't run away from that. I pray that all of us will listen to the voice of John. The voice of repentance. We need it, right? 
Do we need it? Yes, we need it really. Because baby, many people think with their money, with their wealth, with their power, they achieve, they achieve zero. Zero achievement. With our repentance, we will achieve heaven. Right? With repentance. God loves the pure heart. And God loves the clean manger. Our manger nowadays. He needs to come and to dwell. Correct? He needs to come and to rest. And he is moving. He is walking from heart to heart to find someone to rest. And he is today. He is giving us the message. He wants us. He needs to rest in our heart. Elijah came and he cried in the wilderness. In the voice of John. John is telling me and you it is not lawful for you to have this. You remember his message to Herod? Right? He's selling the same message to me and you. It's not lawful. It's, right, it's wrong. What are you doing now is wrong. Let us keep this voice. It is not lawful. It is not correct to do this act. It is not correct to think like that. It is not correct to have this feeling. It is not correct to have this judgment. It is not correct to do this act. This is the voice. Please do not quench it. This is the voice of today of John for us. Don't. It is bad to do this act. This is the voice of John today. Let us search our thoughts. Let us correct our feelings. If it is wrong, if it's grudges, if it is envying, if it is judging, please, my sisters, my brothers, let us take it serious today. We know the right or no? We know the right. Why we do the wrong? We know the right from the wrong. Please choose the right. Wrong is clear. Our problem, we always go for the gray area. We say, ah, it is not bad, not good. Let us make it. No. It's wrong. Wrong is wrong. Right is right. Let us keep that. The commandment of God tells us that. The commandment of God, it stands in front of Herod and tell him, no, don't do that. So let us keep this voice, please. Let us keep the commandment of God always in front of me. Let's keep the word of God always open in the house. Don't let's just hear. Read it. Read the word of God. It will save us from any, from all evils. The word of God, the commandment of God will save everyone. Let the voice of the Lord known by you. Correct? Let the voice of the Lord known by you. Hear his voice. Hear his voice every day. Hear his commandment every day. Read it. Reply it. Talk with it in the house. It will, it will keep you safe. It will keep you safe. Commandment is clear. Do not lamb. Okay, God. Do not. This is not good. Okay, God. This is the message of John. What else the message of John? We need to receive Christ today. Correct? Yes, we need to receive him. We need to have him. We need to rejoice today with the family of John. John came, all family, all neighbors, 
rejoiced. Why? Why people family and John families rejoiced? Because John came with a message of repentance. If I am repenting, if I am clean, I will be joyful. Right? I want to hear, right or no, my friend? Right. If I am repented, I am joyful. This is a message today. Repent, you will be joyful. If you look at yourself, you find yourself gloomy, sad, you are moving in a circle, you don't know where are you going, know that you are not repented. You are not ready. So this is today. We should rejoice. We should enjoy that day. John came, say repent. Yes, Lord, we'll do that. This is the message for all of us. That's why today, a day of joy. A day of joy. I pray for myself and for you that the voice, the crying of Elijah, uh, Elijah and the crying of John, the crying of the Holy Spirit to remain active in your ears and your heart so you will not miss the target. Not this target we go every day. No, we will not miss the target to heaven. Amen. God bless all of you and accept all your prayers and all your repentance. Glory be to God forever.